So guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can get 13 cars in each of your garages in GTA 5 Online. And this is kind of a car duplication glitch as well, as you do end up duplicating your vehicle and then storing it on the bike rack, making it an extra slot in your garage for a vehicle. So it's an awesome glitch and I hope you guys do go on to enjoy. I am also going to be doing another video in around 2-3 to three hours guys, so make sure you are checking back to my channel for that. That is most likely going to be a podcast between me, Dummies Alive and I Crazy Teddy. We talk about a bunch of things so make sure you guys are checking back to my channel for that and then as soon as you do hit a thousand likes on this video i will be getting out the easiest car duplication glitch out there for both the xbox and the playstation 3 a great working method so make sure you guys leave a like if you do want to see that and without further ado let's get straight into this so the first thing you guys want to do is make sure that you have a bmx on your bike rack inside of your garage you also need a motorcycle as well it doesn't matter which motorcycle you use as long as you have a bmx on your bike rack and a motorcycle inside of your garage you are ready to go. Also guys, make sure that you have a friend in the game waiting outside of your garage and from there you want to get onto your motorcycle, hold back to get to the interactable menu and then set your vehicle access to passengers. Now once you guys have done that, drive your motorcycle outside of your garage like so and from there you want to tell your friend to get on the back of your motorbike. Now once he is on the back of your motorbike, you want to have him constantly pressing the left bumper on the Xbox so he keeps pulling out his weapon as you guys can see. He is constantly pressing the LB button. He also needs to not be wearing any accessories while he's doing this. And basically while he's doing that, you need to get off your motorbike and then walk inside of your garage. Now as you guys can see, if you do that correctly and your friend is constantly pressing the left bumper on the controller, constantly pulling out his weapon, he will not get off the bike. That is essential guys, he needs to keep doing that. And from there, you want to get into any vehicle that you want to duplicate and store on the bike rack as an extra slot inside of your garage. So as you guys can see, I'm going to be using the Zentorno. So simply get into that vehicle and then drive outside of your garage. Now, once you have driven outside of your garage, you then want to park the vehicle relatively close to your friend like so. And then you want to hold down the back button and kill yourself choosing the kill yourself option. Now, as soon as you guys kill yourself, you will respawn nearby. And as soon as you guys do spawn back into the game, you want to tell your friend to stop pressing the LB button and get off the motorbike. Now once he does get off the motorbike, as you guys can see, it will basically create a duplicate version of your vehicle and it will have a tracker on it. Now you want to get into the duplicated one with the tracker on it and you want to drive all the way back over to your garage and at the same time you want to tell your friend to get into the other vehicle that you originally drove outside of your garage so as you guys can see there my friend is now off the motorbike and he is now in the vehicle that i originally killed myself in and whilst he is sitting in that vehicle you don't want to drive the duplicate one with the tracker on it back inside of your garage like so and once you guys do spawn into your garage, what you then want to do is go over to the BMX bike rack and select a BMX. Now once you guys select the BMX, it will basically ride the BMX outside of your garage. And from there, you simply want to get off the BMX and then get into the vehicle that your friend is sitting in, as you guys can see. Now you want to drag him out. He cannot exit the vehicle, guys. Make sure that you do drag him out. And then once you guys drag him out, you don't want to take this vehicle over to the Los Santos Customs. Now I do apologize, guys, if it is really hard to follow. I am going a little bit fast here so it may be hard for you guys to follow but try to follow me as best you can and hopefully the footage itself is self-explanatory but make sure that you try to follow me exactly as I do. Now basically guys once you do drag your friend out of the vehicle you want to take the vehicle over to the Los Santos Customs. Now once you guys are in there you then want to change anything on the vehicle that you can. I suggest changing the respray as long as you change one thing on the vehicle and then back out of the Los Santos Customs the vehicle should save and you should see a saving icon in the bottom right hand corner that is orange and spins around as you guys can now see and that's what we went over to the last santos customs to do we went over there to change one thing on the vehicle to make that saving icon in the bottom right corner appear now once you guys have done that you want to take the vehicle all the way back to your garage like so and you want to park it relatively close to your garage as you guys can see me doing now now once you guys have done that you want to press start then go to the xbox game store and then once you guys load up into the xbox game store you want to back out as quick as you can now once you have backed out of the game store, it will spawn you back down into the same session. And from there, what you guys want to do is walk back inside of your garage. Now I know guys, there is a lot of steps to do this glitch, but trust me, it is definitely worth doing just to have that extra slot inside of your garage for an extra vehicle. Anyway guys, once you spawn back into your garage, you then want to get into any random vehicle. As you guys can see, I'm going to get into any random vehicle 
and then simply drive that outside and as soon as you guys drive it outside that is the glitch done you now have the vehicle that you originally drove out that has now duplicated and it is now on your bike rack and that is always going to stay there and as you guys are going to see now as i drive the random vehicle that i drove out back inside of my garage and i go over to the bike rack you guys are going to see that as soon as i press right on the d-pad to select a bike it will actually be a vehicle and that is the original vehicle that i drove out once again guys there is a lot of steps to this glitch and as you guys are going to see now I walk over to the bike rack and select a bike from the wall and when I press right on the d-pad it will spawn me inside of the black Zentorno that I originally drove out of my garage and it basically duplicated that vehicle and then put that duplicated version back on my bike rack and it's an insane glitch to do guys it's basically a way to have 13 vehicles in each of your garages and it's an awesome glitch in general to do now I am aware guys that it is pretty hard to follow so I may actually answer some of your questions down below if you do have any issues Hopefully the video itself is self-explanatory though, nevertheless this vehicle will always be on your bike rack as long as you do not drive it back inside of your garage. Now if you drive it back inside of your garage, it will spawn in your garage as a normal vehicle. So you can still have the duplicated vehicle, it will never get rid of the duplicated vehicle. It's just if you do drive this vehicle from the bike rack back into your garage, it will basically spawn as a normal vehicle. Whereas if you just normally walk inside of your garage like normal, it will always be on your bike rack. And that is basically the glitch done. Hope you all did enjoy. Also remember guys that I'm going to be doing a podcast later on with Dummies Live and I Crazy Teddy. Make sure you guys check back to my channel for that. And without further ado, I will see you all in the next video.